Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this animated text in Figma. And the design you see here is from one of our previous tutorials. I'll be making the link available in the description below. So to get started, I'll be using this design from our previous tutorial. I'm going to zoom in and then remove part of this text here. After that, I have these four words here that you can quickly type. I'm going to highlight all the four items here. Press Shift A to put them in an auto layout. So here I will make sure that the spacing between them is 32. So once the spacing between them is 32, I'm going to select this item here and then this other one here. Press Shift A to put them in an auto layout. Now I'm going to make the spacing between them to 20 here. So once we've done that now, I will make sure that this is aligned to the top here. Make sure it's aligned to the top here. After that, I'm going to now select these items here and then please make sure you're selecting this item here. Then use the clip to content here. Once you have this, if you come to this point here and then drag this, you notice that it's covering everything. So now I'm going to drag down and then draw a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, click on the Figma icon here and then go to the view and then make sure the ruler is checked. Once you have that now, I'm going to come up here and then drag this to this point here where the red line is touching this letter T. So now I'm going to zoom out. Come back in here now and then drag this till this is fully closed till you can see this. And then you make sure that the height of this is fixed. So I'm using 88. So the next thing we are going to do is to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D. So now I'm just going to drag this and put it at the bottom here. You can leave it at the top. So now while selecting this frame, open this here. And then I'm going to select the tech here and drag this down here. After that, we're going to remove these items here from an auto layout. To do that, go to the right hand side and click on the minus. Once you remove that, I can now select this individually. Once you select this individually, I'm going to hold shift and then use the arrow on my keyboard to push this. You can zoom in and then this is a line here. So now what we're going to do now here is I can just click out and then select this, then close this here. Then make sure that this is 180, 88, sorry. The same with this, that's if you select this frame, you see the height is 88. If you select this frame also, the height is 88. So I'm going to select this other frame here again, Ctrl D to duplicate. Probably I'll just drag this down here again. So now let's repeat the same step by opening this again. Then I'm going to select this item here and then open this items here. So this time I'm going to double click to select the UI UX and then hold shift to select these items. Then I'm going to use the shift on my keyboard and then the arrow to push this to the top till this D is aligned with this. You can always zoom in to check. Once it is aligned, I'm going to select this item again and then drag to close this here. So I can select this item and then close this to 88. So yours might be more than 88, but just make sure they are having the same height. So I'm going to duplicate this for the last time, drag this item here, and then I'm going to open this. Now select this item and then open this. So this time we have two items left, double click and then Hold shift and then just push this here to the top. So now I have this item and then I'll make sure that the height is also 88. So now once you have this, your items here, the next thing I'm just going to check if I'm having any excess. So now here for this last one, I'm having this. So I need to drag this item here to cover this point here. Once we have this, Click and then drag this to select all the items, select the drop down here and create a component set. Once you've done that, click on this item here and then let's go to the prototype view. 
so click on the prototype now click and then drag this item here so don't worry about this just do the same for this i'm going to show you a shortcut do the same just drag and then select this last one and then drag it to the first one here once you've done that highlight these items here so on the right hand click on this where you have the interaction so now from on click we are going to change that to after delay and then here please set that to 600 and then for this please make sure it's linear and then our animation type here should be smart animate once we have that you can now click out here now let's go back to the asset section here so we have our design so click and drag this item here so for the tech i'm going to double click and then make sure that the color is white so once i've changed that here i'll go back to our original design here which is this so i'll just drag these items outside here once i drag this out i'm going to double click to select the bring in here that's the text and then i'll just add that in a new section paste that here Control D to duplicate and then I'll just copy enthusiast copy and then paste that here so after adding the enthusiast here I'm going to drag this podcast and then drop this here so we have item one two three so I'll press shift a to put them in an auto layout so once I've done that I can just adjust the spacing between them here so let's make that 20 for now and see so now we can now select the frame here and then drag and drop it in here. So 20 is too much, so we can go 12 here. So let me reduce that again. Let's do eight. Let's see if that fits in. So I'll just drag that manually and fit that in here. So I'll select this item here and then click on the presentation layer. Once your design is fully loaded, you notice that we are going to have this nice animation going on on my design.